What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw Sasuke Uchiha. Okay, so today we are going to draw Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto. As you can see, I started by drawing a perfect square. Each side is 6 centimeters. And without further ado, we are going to start by drawing Sasuke's face. As you can see, this is going to be a frontal pose, and I'm using 5 lines to create a face. Next, we are going to use this curve to mark his headband, and then we'll use these two guidelines to help us draw the eyes. So we'll start with the right eye, as you can see I'm using 4 lines for curves. We'll add some thickness to create the eyelashes. And then two more lines to create the eyebrow. And a few wrinkles right next to it. We'll add the eyelid. And then we can draw the Sharingan, we'll start with the iris, then the pupil. A few lines around it. And then we'll draw the Tomos. As you can see, the sharp side points out. Awesome, and we are going to do the same process for the left side using the same guidelines, following the same steps. Awesome, once we are done with that, we are going to refine the face a bit, just make it a bit wider. And then we are going to draw the nose simply by indicating the nostrils. And now we will draw the mouth by using three lines similar to the Dragon Ball style. Awesome, next we are going to draw his color, as you can see it crosses the chin, going all around. And now we are going to draw the ears, so we don't need to draw the entire ear because his hair will cover it later on. As you can see I'm starting with the border of the ear and then add the details inside. You can use the square to keep the right symmetry. And next, we are going to refine the headband. Get rid of all the unnecessary lines. And I'm gonna make the jaw a bit rounder. Awesome, next we are going to draw Sasuke's glorious hair. We'll first start with the rough shape of the hair. We basically got three parts one on each side and one above. Now it's much easier to draw his locks of hair, so we'll just do that by using two curves, and as you can see, the hair blows slightly to the left side, that way it looks more interesting. 
If you want to create a dramatic effect, always draw the hair to the sides. It always gives a very nice dramatic effect. And as you can see, we are covering the ears, so we drew it for nothing! But that's how it goes in the drawing business. Awesome, once we are done with that, we'll draw the rest of his shirt by adding some creases. Indicating his shoulders. Next, we are going to draw Sasuke's metal plate. As you can see, it looks like a rounded rectangle. We'll add three bolts on each side. This one is covered by the hair. And then we are going to draw the leaf village symbol by using these steps. As you can see, it's a circle, a triangle, and then I'm creating that spiral. Also, next we'll draw Sasuke's neck and his trap muscle. And we are done with the sketching process. Congratulations, everybody. So now we are going to move to the inking process. For that, we are going to use a black color pencil. As always, make sure to sharpen the pencil because we want to get smooth and nice lines. We are going to rotate the page using your NHM, natural hand movement, and then simply go all over the lines. You can do that by pushing lines or by pulling lines. Just make sure from time to time to sharpen the pencil to keep it sharp and smooth. Awesome! Once we are done with that, we can start the shading process. So first I'm gonna mark all the shaded areas. Now for this drawing I want the light source to come from both sides because we are going to draw lightning later on. This process... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute everybody. This process is called cell shading, it's what they do in 2D animation. And once we are done with that, we can start the shading process. So we'll start with the darkest tone of the face. What we want to get is a dark tone of grey. As you can see, I'm shading in the direction of the shape, adding more layers of lead and pressing a bit on the pencil so it will look darker. Next, I want to get a brighter tone of grey. 
So I'm gonna hold the pencil closer to the eraser, that way I can apply less pressure and just add one layer just like that. Awesome, we are going to do the same process for the headband. Next, we are going to shade the metal plate and as you can see, I'm leaving some blank areas to get a nice highlight. I'm also using the eraser for that. Awesome, next we'll shade the color and the rest of the shirt. We are going to use the same process, shading in the direction of the shape, applying more pressure to get a darker tone and applying less pressure to get a brighter tone. Awesome, once we are done with that, we can move on to the hair and this time we are going to use the black color pencil just to create a nice contrast. Just like before, we'll color in the direction of the hair. and then we'll move on to the gray color. And as you can see, I'm using this paper, so I won't smear the lead by accident with my hand. Awesome, and now we can color the eyes, so for that we can use a red color pencil, just to make the drawing a bit more interesting. And we can also use an even brighter tone of red. We are going to do the same process for the left side. And now we are going to draw some lightnings. So to draw the lightnings, what you want to do is draw some fast lines and just cross it from time to time, just like that. Imagine you are in a highway and you're driving like an insane person. This is how it looks. Next, we'll add some thickness to the lightnings. And now I'm gonna shout like a maniac, so if you want you can lower the volume or you can shout out loud with me. Three, two, one. And we are done! Everybody. This is how you draw Sasuke Huchiya from Naruto. Please let me know how you did in the comment section. Let me know which Naruto character would you like me to draw next. Also, make sure to like this video share it with your friends and subscribe if you're new i upload new videos every week and there's over 140 tutorials available for you that's it for today keep being awesome as always 
and I'll see you on the next video very soon. Peace.